ladies and gentlemen, please do take your seats and also take this moment to turn off any pagers, cell phones, Blackberries, and any other mobile ringing devices, please. Well, good morning to you all and welcome to the Michener Institute. My name is Ileana Arapis. I'm the Senior Director of Communications and Public Relations, and I'm very pleased to facilitate today's special event and order of proceedings. We're delighted that you've joined us today for the official wall breaking and groundbreaking, groundbreaking of phase one of our capital development project, and we're very honored to be in the presence of the following distinguished guests. The Honorable David Kaplan, Minister of Health and Long-Term Care for the Province of Ontario, Kathy Fuchs, Chair of the Board of Governors for the Michener Institute. Dr. Paul Gamble, President and CEO of the Michener Institute. Greg Colucci, Principal from Diamond and Schmidt Architects. Donald Schmidt, Principal from Diamond and Schmidt Architects. Mark Parent, Executive Vice President and Chief Operating Officer of CAE. Paul Duffy, the Chair of the Campaign for Michener and member of our Board of Governors. Dr. Diana Michener Schatz, founder and first president of the Michener Institute. Anthony Fell, member of the board uh, for CAE. Mr. Guillaume Hervé, vice president, healthcare simulation and services for CAE. Senator Trevor Eaton. Dr. Vicky LeBlanc, director of the Network of Excellence in Simulation for Clinical Teaching and Learning. And Alex Denevsky, president of student council for the Michener Institute. It's our distinct pleasure to have you with us today. This morning we will begin with presentations, uh, starting with Kathy Fuchs, then Ms. Minister Kaplan, Paul Gamble, Greg Colucci, Mark Parent, and Paul Duffy. Once the presentations have concluded, we will then hold the simulated wall and groundbreaking ceremony, which will then be followed by a reception here in Schatz Hall. So, let us begin. Please join me in welcoming Kathy Fuchs, Chair of Michener's Board of Governors. Thank you, Ileana. Uh, good morning, everyone. Minister, special guests, Michener friends, a warm welcome to all of you. It gives me great pleasure to be here this morning to celebrate a remarkable year of achievements. My fellow governors and I are very honored to serve on this board and particularly proud to do so today as we celebrate three special milestones. First, the official groundbreaking of phase one of Michener's capital development project. Second, the establishment of the CAE Michener Center for the Advancement of Simulation in Healthcare, and third, the launch of the Michener Capital Campaign entitled Stronger, Smarter, Better. I've been on this board for four years and served as chair for two, and over that time, the board has had the privilege of helping to shape Michener's future. In partnership with the province, we envision a new era of healthcare education based on interprofessionalism into professional teaching, learning, and eventually practice. In partnership with CAE, we envision a simulation-enhanced educational experience where students can learn through real-life scenarios. Whether it's a hospital scenario or a community care scenario, numerous situations can be played out right here in this building. The opportunity for team debrief, reflection, and continuous improvement is facilitated in a safe environment where patients are not at risk and providers can learn to deliver their best. So to the Minister and to CAE, on behalf of the Board of Governors, I say thank you for your ability to see into the future and envision Michener at the centre. I would now like to introduce our Minister of Health and Long-Term Care, the Honourable David Kaplan. Minister Kaplan was first elected to the provincial legislature in 1997 in the riding of Don Valley East, and he was subsequently re-elected in 1999, 2003, and 2007. He was appointed Minister of Health and Long-Term Care in June 2008, having previously served as Minister of Public Infrastructure Renewal and Deputy Government House Leader. Please join me in welcoming the Honourable David Kaplan. Kathy, thank you for that very kind introduction. Uh, good morning, uh, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, you've all braved uh, some very uh, uh, surprising weather for uh, for April and and for this very exciting uh, very exciting milestone. I'm going to observe the three B's of public speaking: 
Begin, be brief, and be seated. So it's a pleasure to be here to celebrate the beginning of a project that will further solidify Michener's reputation as a leader in healthcare education. As an institute, I must tell you, you're already at the top of your game. Your programs are innovative, they're forward thinking, you're pushing the boundaries and literally breaking down silos. You are truly on the front line of collaboration and simulation, and now you're forging ahead, you're going to take it up a notch. With a partnership, a $6.2 million investment from the provincial government, you are pushing the boundaries yet again. I'm so happy to be here for the groundbreaking of the CAE Michener Center for the Advancement of Simulation in Healthcare. Thanks to CAE for their funding contribution and for sharing their expertise. Like our government, the Michener Institute, uh, they too recognize the value of simulation education. When it's up and running, the center is expected to provide cutting edge simulation training for more than 1,500 students and healthcare practitioners each year. It will equip them to handle real world life and death situations. Whether a respiratory therapy student is learning how to, she could protect a hospital from a pandemic, or an anesthesia assistant in training is learning how to help a surgeon perform an emergency procedure. The simulation center will ensure Michener students can hit the ground running. It will literally shape healthcare leaders. I know that our provincial investment will truly make a difference. Even in these challenging economic times, our government is investing in medical education. We're doing it because we believe that Ontarians deserve the highest quality, versatile, applied healthcare professionals. And the Michener Institute shares that vision. I'm proud of what this institute has accomplished. I know that this new simulation center will help it to do even more. It will help the Michener Institute take medical education to the next level. So I want to thank those at the Institute for the great work that you're doing already, and congratulations on yet another incredible milestone. Thank you very much. Thank you, Minister Kaplan. I'd now like to invite Dr. Paul Gamble, President and CEO of the Michener Institute, to the podium. Paul. Thank you, Ileana, and good morning, ladies and gentlemen. On behalf of the senior management, the faculty, and the staff of the in Michener Institute, I am very pleased and honored to welcome you here to the Michener today, and I want to extend my personal thanks to each one of you for participating in this very special event that we've organized this morning, this symbolic wall breaking and the groundbreaking for the first phase of our capital redevelopment and the launching of the CA Michener Simulation Center. Minister Kaplan, Mr. Perrant, you distinguished us with your presence here this morning and your support. Your enthusiasm for our shared vision of a new era in health care is what got us to this point today. Again, thank you both for being here. The Michener Institute is Canada's only post-secondary educational institution dedicated exclusively to the teaching of allied health professions. For over 50 years, our graduates have fulfilled with their vital diagnostic and therapeutic roles in serving the Canadian healthcare system. We have many roles that we educate here, just to name a few, medical laboratory technologists, respiratory therapists, genetics technology, radiation therapy, anesthesia assistant, and there are about 30 others that I could carry on, read the, mo the materials around the organization. Um, as a result, those graduates of Michener have played a pivotal role in helping to meet the health human resources of this province, but also of this country. For the past 36 years, Michener graduates have acquired their discipline-specific skills and competencies for their professions right here at this very location at 222 St. Patrick Street. Our graduates are already known in the healthcare system for the high quality of their applied skills and the caliber of their profession-specific knowledge. And tomorrow they will be known for their exceptional interprofessional skills, enhanced readiness for clinical practice, and preparedness in response to a wide range of team-based healthcare situations, be they in an urban hospital or in a rural community or a community care center. When Michener's Master Capital Development Plan is fulfilled, 
this entire institution will become a 21st century teaching and learning environment, a next generation interactive learning campus where interprofessional education will flourish, where simulation enhanced opportunities abound, and where all healthcare providers can learn with, from, and about one another. And so today's events mark a very important step forward in the healthcare education students, those that are studying to become applied health sciences professionals, but also those that are studying to become nurses and doctors. And it will demonstrate what we can achieve when we work together. Ladies and gentlemen, we would not be able to be celebrating we are today without having this collaborative environment and this facility where our students, if it wasn't for the support of a number of, uh, of a uh, family, growing family of supporters for this organization. As we've heard before, we again, and on my behalf, would like to express our appreciation to the Government of Ontario, and in particular to the Minister Kaplan, for his support and his helpfulness as we have brought this phase of the project forward. And of course, the CAE, our naming donor for the CAE Michener Centre for Advancement and Simulation in Healthcare. I would like to acknowledge Mark Perrant, the CAA's Executive Vice President and Chief Operating Officer, as well as Guillaume Hueve, CAA's Vice President of Healthcare Simulation and Services, for their steadfast, enthusiastic, and committed leadership. It's taken us about 16 months to get here, but we've made it, and we're very pleased to be part of this partnership. Our alliance with CAA is quite extraordinary. It represents a unique partnership of a leading healthcare educator and an aviation simulation corporate giant coming together for a shared purpose, and that is to impact in the most positive way possible the kind of healthcare the future generations of patients will benefit from and ultimately will demand. I also offer my heartfelt thanks to Tony Fell, who's in our front row, a member of CAA's board of directors, who was Again, about the 16 months ago, one of the first people that became intrigued with the possibilities between Michener and the CAE and suggested that we actually get together and start a conversation. And this is where that conversation has brought us today. And uh, we're very pleased to see this unique partnership that has resulted. At Michener, we have one of the most collaborative cultures you'll find anywhere in a healthcare and educational institution in the country. And I'm honored to recognize a few people that have been instrumental in bringing our interprofessional vision to fruition through this capital development project. First and foremost, I want to recognize James Robertson, the Michener Vice President, Corporate Services and Strategic Advancement. James, without your expertise, your leadership, your persistence, and your hard-headedness at times, and your belief in the possibilities of our physical space, we would not be here today. And through you, James, I would also like to acknowledge the hard work and the dedication of our facilities team, now led by Joanne Byers, and also to our financial team, led by Alice Chow, without which we could not have gone through all of the steps necessary to get us to this point and to be in, in, the, in the position of celebration we are today. I'm also pleased to acknowledge and thank the architects from Diamond and Schmidt, who took our interprofessional vision and turned it into an architectural reality. And I hope you do get a chance to take a look at some of the floor plans that really do explain what we are planning to do in the simulation center here. But I would like to acknowledge Greg Colucci, Brigitte Seberg, Leo Mialis, and of course Don Schmidt, all of whom are with us today. Finally, I would like to acknowledge the support and guidance provided by Kathy Fuchs and the other members, both past and present, of the Michener Board of Governors. With this phase one groundbreaking, or actually, as you will see in a few moments, our simulated wall breaking, we are ushering in a new era of collaborative healthcare education that is innovative, interprofessional, and team-based. The impact of this on the patients of Ontario on, and beyond is truly profound. Thank you all for being here today. I hope you enjoy the ceremony. Thank you so much, Paul. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome Greg Colucci from Diamond and Schmidt. Good morning. There are several remarkable features about the redevelopment of the Rich uh, Michener Institute. The first, it represents the wholesale transformation of a high-rise building, 30 years old, that into a state-of-the-art, interdisciplinary allied health academic center. Second, it does so at half the price of a new building. Finally, the Michener Institute has strengthened its extensive linkages with clinical and business leaders in new ways. 
that establish and enable students to learn the complexities of clinical situations and also to provide Ontario's emerging healthcare practitioners with standardized testing facilities. The problems of a vertically stacked program where teaching is done in departmental silos will now yield to multi-use spaces supporting interprofessional education, advanced technology, and integrated simulation. While teaching spaces will be significantly transformed, students and faculty will also enjoy generous, light-filled gathering places so important for enabling spontaneous discussion and casual study. The Michener has been a model for allied health education for over 50 years. The realization of this project will perpetuate this leadership for many years to come. On behalf of Diamond and Schmidt Architects, I thank the Ministry of Long-Term Care, uh, Ministry of Health and Long-Term Care, CAE, and the Michener community for their remarkable support. Thank you. I'd now like to call upon Mark Parent, Executive Vice President and Chief Operating Officer from the CAE. Thank you. <laughs> Minister Campbell, Dr. Gamble, members of the Bitcher Board of Directors, Distinguished guests, you know, I'd first like to offer my congratulations today to Dr. Gamble and to the whole Michener team, you know, on the groundbreaking of this very impressive capital development plan. The Michener Institute, along with the province of Ontario, is really ushering a new era of health education and the building of this team-based learning facility for healthcare providers. Congratulations on this momentous achievement today. You know, when we, when we look at today what we're doing, we're celebrating, of course, <clears throat> the C.A. Michener Center for Advancement of Simulation Healthcare. This new center will use simulation-based technology and courses to provide safe and efficient training to healthcare professionals. Now, you might ask yourself, C.A., you know, you may know us as, you know, I really like the words that Dr. Game, uh, the Gamble uh, used, but to be uh, somewhat humble, we're somewhat of a name uh, leader in the world of aviation training, in the defense and aviation worlds, civil aviation worlds. But what can we bring to the training of healthcare professionals? Well, the answer really isn't complicated. It's really, we're, what we're bringing to the party is our very deep knowledge of simulation-based training. You know, we build an expertise you know, on training, the philosophy of training, which is in the end to enhance the safety and efficiency of our clients. And this is what we'll bring to the healthcare field. You know, the, if we look at some parallels, the aviation uh, field today is very safe. You know, sadly accidents do occur, but as traveling public, we can feel very uh, safe in knowing that there's only one fatality in four million passengers flying, which is a much safer than we would take going down the highway with our, with our cars. Well, how does aviation remain so safe? Training is at the root of that. Training and, of course, you know, the fact that the airplanes are getting safer and safer through design. So how does training play a part? Well, <clears throat> let's illustrate the contrast between how healthcare providers, and I'll pick, I'll pick doctors, okay, uh, certainly not, uh, you know, uh, in the realm of what Michener does today uh, with regards to doctors. But let's use that parallel to pilots. 60 years ago, you know, when CE got started, and, and I say 60 years, but you go back 30 years, and you, pilots used to get trained by flying airplanes. Simulating, for example, you know, shutting down an engine on takeoff and react and seeing how the pilot would react to that in, in, to make sure that such an event that it happens, you know, with you or me on board, you know, that we remain safe. Well, when you train on airplanes, what used to happen is a lot of airplanes used to crash during training. A lot of people used to die during training. Now, fast forward to today. Today, using simulation-based training, you know, all of the training of the pilot is, used, is done using simulation. All the training is done in a simulator. The first flight that the pilot will take on the real airplane is with you or me in the back. 
Maybe that feel, makes you feel safer. <laughs> but go back to the statistic, the statistic. Now contrast that to how doctors are trained today and uh, leave it to uh, your imagination to think that there's lots more we can do. And in the training of healthcare providers, you know, in the post-secondary education field, that is what we're doing here today and celebrating here at Michener. So I want to uh, really, you know, congratulate again Dr. Gamble, the whole staff for the vision that they have for bringing this opportunity forward for CE and for Michener. And thank again the government of Ontario for its prescience. And I think we're on the cusp of truly a revolution in how healthcare training is done in the world today. And we'll all be a lot safer for it. Thank you. Thank you, Mark. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, for our final presentation this morning, please welcome Paul Duffy, Chair of Michener's Capital Campaign Fundraising Program. Good morning, everyone. About now, I realize I uh, should be getting some glasses looking at this. So. Pardon me? Oh, would they work? <laughs> thank you very much, Honorable Minister, uh, Dr. Gamble, Mr. Perron, Mr. Hervé. Thank you. I am very pleased and excited to be chairing the campaign for Missioner, Stronger, Smarter, Better. Today is a major milestone for Missioner in many respects in that it includes and marks the official launch of our campaign. I have been involved with the Missioner for almost two years as a member of the Board of Governors. In that time, I have come to appreciate the critical role that Missioner and its graduates play in the health care system here in Ontario and in Canada. Our graduates are the backbone of the health care system. They work alongside doctors and nurses, and they make up a significant portion of the healthcare workforce. In fact, without our graduates, the healthcare workforce would not function. The campaign for Missioner will help us strengthen that backbone and facilitate the transformation of healthcare from the inside out. As you have heard, the Capital Development Project will create the next generation of interactive learning campus. The campaign will raise Missioner's share of the project's costs. We expect the campaign goal for the entire project to be 15 to 20 million dollars. This is the largest fundraising, fundraising campaign in Missioner's 51 year history. The goal for phase one of the project is 5.4 million dollars. Thanks to the generous lead gift of 3 million dollars from CAE, we are more than halfway to our phase one target. In this regard, our capital campaign cabinet will soon be working tirelessly with donors and potential investors in fulfilling our target goals and ultimately Missioner's vision. By supporting this campaign, donors can help transform the health care system and make it stronger, smarter, and better. Our graduates work in hospitals, rehabilitation centers, and community agencies across the province and the country. So an investment in Missioner benefits patients throughout Ontario and beyond. In closing, I would like to acknowledge some other members of our campaign cabinet that are here with us this morning. Dr. Diana Schatz, our honorary chair, Paul Burton, Bill Brown, Bill Tatham, and George Hood, who couldn't be with us, but uh, he is a part of our cabinet. We all look forward to celebrating future campaign milestones with you. And once again, thank you for your time and thank you for your support. Thank you so much, Paul. Okay, I'd now like to call upon Minister Kaplan, Kathy, Paul, um, Greg, Mark, Paul Duffy, James Robertson, and Alex Danevsky to approach the stage and gather around the LCD screen for our first ever simulated wall breaking and groundbreaking ceremonies. Um, we're actually simulating. We're actually simulating two ceremonies this morning. The first is the groundbreaking ceremony to commemorate phase one of Michener's capital development project. And the second will be the wall breaking ceremony to mark the start of the CAE Michener Center for the advancement of simulation in healthcare. So as I said, this is our first ever simulated wall and groundbreaking event. However, the sledgehammers and spades are very real. So if I could, um, may I ask that Kathy Fuchs and Alex Donevsky receive the spades? And Minister Kaplan and Paul Gamble each receive a sledgehammer. <laughs> okay, why don't we take a first posed photo, holding all of the tools and equipment. Oh, we also have construction hats for you. You may wear them or hold them. <laughs> 
<laughs> okay, let's have Alex and Kathy have a go at the wall. Oh, it's a dirty job. Oh, there's more. Minister Kaplan, it's your turn to take a swing at the wall. Oh, Paul, it's up to you now. Okay, let's hold this pose. I'd now like to ask uh, members of our student body in their lab coats to come and join us here on the stage for another photo op. Ladies and gentlemen, you're about to witness one of the benefits of simulation, um, which is embodied in the cliche that practice makes perfect. Um, so a simulation just wouldn't be a simulation without a repeat. In healthcare, we call it a do-over. Um, so where are our students from student council? There they are, come on up, come on down. You're our next contestants. <laughs> okay, so we're going to have uh, Kathy and Alex. Okay, so are we almost ready? Okay, we should cheer them on, shouldn't we? Let's make this interactive. One, two, three. <laughs> okay, keep going, keep going, keep hitting. <laughs> And we need a sledgehammer in there, too. Yay. All right. OK. We're, uh, we're ready for the second simulation now, which is the wall breaking ceremony to mark the start of the CAE Michener Center. Um, at this point, I'd ask that Paul and Minister Campbell have, uh, Kaplan, sorry, have the spades, and that Mark Parent and Alex wield the sledgehammers. And of course, we want the students in the picture too, so you get to stick around. Okay, Minister Kaplan, get ready to dig. Separately or together? Yeah, do it together. Okay, Mark Parent, it's up to you to give that uh, wall a wallop. <laughs> One, two, three. Oh, oh. Okay, Alex, just wa knock that wall down. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Very well done. Congratulations. Thank you so much, everyone. We really appreciate you being here. This is just like having deja vu, all of these uh, simulations, isn't it? Um, ladies and gentlemen, a warm round of applause for our platform party and for the simulated wall and uh, groundbreaking. Uh, this brings us to the uh, conclusion of our historic ceremony. Thank you to our distinguished platform party, special guests, and to all of you for bearing witness to the beginning of a new era of healthcare simulation um, and education. Please join us now for the breakfast reception. Thank you. <laughs>